Well, good morning. Um, it is a beautiful day. We're going to be heading over to Dutch Wonderland, so we're kind of excited. It's the first trip for us. One of the cool things, because we are staying at the Cartoon Network Hotel, is that you get discounted tickets for Dutch Wonderland here. At the time of this recording, uh, if you were to buy a single day ticket for one person online, uh, it's about $70. Actually, it's $70 at the gate. I think there's a $5 discount online, $65 for a one day pass. However, if you stay at the Cartoon Network Hotel, it's $39.99 for a two day pass per person. So it's a significant discount uh, for staying here. So if you plan on going to Dutch Wonderland and you're staying at the Cartoon Network Hotel and you know you're gonna do that, hold off on buying your tickets until you're here and then you can buy them at the front desk at a huge discount. But not only that, but I just found out that you can have early access to the park by a half an hour uh, by getting a wristband um, at the front desk. So if you stop off there before your park day, and because they're two day tickets, you can stop off at the front desk before your second day as well, um, you can get a wristband to let you in 30 minutes early. Plus, not only that, but you get free parking at Dutch Wonderland if you're staying at the Cartoon Network Hotel as well. It's $15 for normal parking, $25 for premium parking, or preferred parking, but if you're staying at the Cartoon Network Hotel, parking, the regular parking is free. So not only that, but your two day tickets are valid throughout the entire season. So if you're staying just for a single day and you only plan on going for one day, but you live within a relative distance where you can come back or uh, you might want to revisit your second day, unlike other theme parks like in Orlando where you only have a set period of time, like a week for you to use all of your visits, it's valid for the entire season. Your second day is valid for the entire season. So you could buy your tickets and then decide to use your first day and then come back halfway through the year later on and use your second day. So a lot of really cool information um, that they were able to give me right there at the front desk. So that's awesome. to measure our precious little gems here and Liana for the first time you are above 42 inches that means you can do yeah you're in amber Lucas let's see where you're at dude you're into ruby man no you're at the top of your head is hitting ruby man I don't know I think you might be taller than mommy now uh, getting close right. starting her day off on the train here uh, she's good all right, here we go, guys. First ride at Dutch Wonderland. Liana, what are you thinking? The carousel? The carousel? We can oh, do wow. that. Wow, that one looks underneath the ground. Oh, there. That looks cool. There is the monorail, which we're going to have to take a look at a little bit later. This is kind of cool. A little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie. I have a deathly fear of heights, buddy. 
Oh, I'm terrified of heights, man. You go on a ladder. Yeah, not by choice. Something about the feeling of the cable car, like, swinging back and forth, yeah. terrifies me. There's a show down there that we absolutely, completely missed. What um, Huh? What show down? The one in the uh, No, show, there was a show down there. Oh. Yeah. I thought you meant, like, a fight. Like no, there was not a fight. Down. No. This is such a cool view of the park, though. Yeah. Let's see all the rides. Also, there's, like, a camp oh. thing in there. There is Mommy and Liana way up there ahead of us. Oh, I don't like that rocking feeling. Oh, I don't like that. It's a little windy. Oh. And to make matters even worse, we're going through the middle of a roller coaster. So there is the lift track of Merlin's Mayhem, which is the roller coaster that goes all around us. Now, Merlin's Mayhem, what is interesting about it, not only does it go around the cable cars, but it also has a very low height limit. Believe it or not, their wooden roller coaster has a higher height limit than Merlin's Mayhem, their metal coaster. We're pulling back into the sky ride. As terrifying as it was, it was fun. So what do you guys think? I was terrified the whole time. <laughs> uh, same. I didn't even move a muscle. Splash zone. Right here is the entrance to Merlin's Mayhem. And as you can see, shooting out the back there, that yellow coaster is Merlin's Mayhem, the one that we went through on the cable cars earlier. The cable cars go right through uh, the track area to safe distance, of course. And on the other side of Merlin's Mayhem, Merlin's Marketplace. Uh, they got a little bit of a gift shop in there that has some really cool trinkets and stuff inside. So, kids are going to be going into Merlin's Mayhem. This is a ride that Liana is actually tall enough to be able to go on. Lucas can ride on his own. Liana is just tall enough to be able to go with an adult with her. And then they also have a test seat right here. So if you wanted to test to see whether or not you would be able to fit on this ride. Um, I'm a bigger, taller guy, so I don't get to fit on a ride, so those are handy. And this is my magical castle, right through there. My pet dragon mayhem is around here somewhere. I, I hope you've come to help me find him. So unfortunately, I can't go on this. Um, I'm a little bit over 300 pounds, and I'm right at 6'5". Um, so I could technically height-wise, but uh, unfortunately, this is not a bigger rider-friendly ride. Think about that big roller coaster that Luke's on right now. Uh, I think it was uh, 11 out of a 10 out of a 10 out of 11, 12. So you really, really liked it then, that's what you're saying? It was so fun and high. What did you think? Uh, it was fun, it was fast. I kind of liked it because it was fast and it's short. Um, anyway, I was, I was, I thought I was going to be the only one on the ride, but then someone came up, and there's only two people on it. So, it was you and two other people? No. Oh, just you and one other person? Yeah. And the rest of the car was empty? Yeah. That's cool. You sat in the front? Mm-hmm. He's been wanting to since yesterday. Was it better in the front than it was in the back? You got much more air. You got more air in the back? Yes. So you, next time you'd go on the back? Hey, 
doing, buddy? One and done. Ice cream. Not only were you the very first car of the day, but you were in the front seat on an empty roller coaster. It was all you. How did that make you feel? Uh, you know? Pass out. Lonely. All by myself. There they are. They're all loaded up. They're getting ready to go. This is the Joust Family Coaster. It's not too intense. But it is, a, it is a pretty nice kitty coaster compared to some others that I've seen. That's just kind of a basic track. excited for this one. Liana has an absolute love for dinosaurs and Exploration Island is a dinosaur walk. That's something I didn't realize that they have. Old fashioned cars. Oh, can we do that? Exploration Island over here is kind of a, not a kiddie area, but they have a lot of like dino themed areas. Like there's the dino um, mining company digging area. Um, they have gondolas over there. They have the turnpike old fashioned cars. So there's a lot of like casual things but what we're doing is we're heading over here this is a dino walk area where they have animatronic dinosaurs let's see if we can find some there's a dino oh my goodness there's three of them Triceratops with little Triceratops babies. What's over here? Whoa! I call, what is this? It's a T Rex. Go, go, go. You're gonna eat, eat it. Eat it. Oh, eat it. don't do that. What? Hi, Rexy. How you doing? There's another one. Two other dinosaurs for Come real. On. Birds. Is that well mean? known to the public, but it's represented by many skeletons that have been found in rocks from the Cretaceous period. Wait. Hi, Sean. <laughs> oh, so as you guys are hitting the buttons, he's moving. That's cool. Pick all the Heads up, we got pterodactyls overhead. <laughs> that one got Liana. <laughs> Sounds like a broken TV. He's your friend. babies. What did you think about the dinosaurs? Good. What about them? What did you like? They were awesome. They were awesome? Which one was your favorite? The T-Rex. The T-Rex, even though it scared you? Lucas, what was your favorite? Yeah. So far? Yeah. The pterodactyl? Or, oh, oh, you mean the cable car. Cable car was your favorite. I meant by the dinosaurs, but okay. <laughs> Under the bridge we go. I just noticed something, Liana. This boat has no steering wheel. What about, oh, you mean the old fashioned cars? You wanna be able to do those things? We can do those after. Yep, that's right after this one. Oh, there's a bird's nest. Oh, there's oh, so 
my goodness. Birdies. Do you see what's coming up over here? It's the back end of the dinosaur. He might whip you with his tail. Just did the gondolas, which has you go under multiple bridges, like just like the one right behind me here. Um, but there's one wooden bridge in the very back end that I legitimately had to duck under the bridge, otherwise, I absolutely would have hit the top of my head on that bridge. Um, yeah, that's different. <laughs> All right, do you know how to drive? Are you sure? What do you do? You go like that, yep, and then the pedal you push it down to go. All right. So you gotta push it down while steering. You gonna be able to do it? Here we go. You're driving, Liana. Go, put, keep pushing it down, you gotta keep it down. Hold it down all the way. Keep it down. Yeah, you got this. Oh, eyes on the road, eyes on the road. Ah! I don't think I'm gonna survive. I don't know where you got your license from, girly. <laughs> Keep going straight, Liana. <laughs> your driving terrifies me. So, you are gonna be the one who takes her uh, for her permit, like, preparation? <laughs> that was terrifying. She probably got, got like me. So, like, you know the game uh, Pong, where the ball goes back and forth <laughs> off of the paddles? Yeah, that was her on the metal track. And when I asked her oh, about it, so she laughed maniacally. Liana, did you find another thing to drive on? Uh oh. So they got a few of those, I think, throughout the park. They're animatronic story windows that will uh, tell you, like, a little bit of, like, Dutch culture. Hi, ladies. Do you think we can finish this quilt for my Mary's wedding day? It draws closer, you know, and we have a ways to go before we're done. But so pretty, eh? Ah, uh, yes. And Mary can be proud when she finds out that her aunt helped her mom make up this pattern. Oh, to so severely starting today. One of the pigs were all, and that held us up. But now, too, Jake is too sick to work, and he has it in his legs and his back. Jake didn't look right out of the eyes for some time now. Got the horse and the kids. Are you eating it, Luke?
want to come back? Yeah. Leona, was it worth the trip? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Stay seated at all times while the ride is in motion. Small children are permitted to lean on the benches. Thank you and enjoy your ride. There's some more rides. Liana, you went on that ride earlier. What ride? It was the bulldozers. Well, there's the bumper cars that you guys went on earlier too. Uh, there's the dino area where you did the dino walk. There's also the cars where Liana crashed a bunch of times. The cars where Liana crashed. The gondola. Uh -huh. There is a campground that is also associated with Dutch Wonderland. It's behind the Cartoon Network Hotel and uh, some of the campsites down there. They have RV and tent spots. This is a nice cool ride for like the breeze, being able to sit and relax for a little bit. And we're about near the front of the park. And there is the car parking. Cool. Lots of theming through here. A lot of theming through here. We're we're over there and just on the other side of that parking lot, Cartoon Network Hotel where we're staying. So literally right oh, next there door. We are. The oh, and right outside our window. Hi, Hi. Oh, no. So in October they also have a Happy Hauntings event. So select weekends in October, you can come to Dutch Wonderland and they have a Halloween themed event. And then right over here, they have Winter Wonderland on select weekends in November and December. So both Halloween and for the Christmas winter season, they've got special events. You guys ready? Yeah. I can't hear you, are you ready? Yeah. All right, one, two, three. On your mark, get set, go! Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? So, which one do you want? Slot? There you go! You. What do you say? Congratulations! On our way out, let's check out the gift shop real quick. Ooh, they got an exploration island area right over here. I love all the dino merch, including this glow in the dark t shirt. Dude, you could have armor. I could have armor. I could. That's so cute. In the back corner, they have a fairly large princess section. Some more princess stuff over here as well. Oh, I wish they had my size. And of course, tons and tons of candy. Cotton candy. Pretzels. Popcorn. Alright, that does it for us. Say bye, guys. Bye.